My mate Adam Swanson is in the Everyday Gourmet Kitchen and that means it's pasta time. I love when you cook me pasta. Thanks, Jazz. <laughs> this one here is my midweek gluten-free spaghetti. Gluten-free pasta. Yes. It's very popular, isn't it? It is, and this one's for my vegan paisans, as I say. Lovely. You know, nice all those one. paisanis. Every now and then I have a bit of a vegan dish. Yeah. And this one here is it. So we need to get our pasta, yeah, yeah. our spaghetti, straight into the salted water. So a little pinch. Does it take longer to cook than your regular wheat pasta? No, it actually cooks quicker, this one. It cooks okay. in about six to eight minutes. Now, this portion, well, this packet is 350 grams, which is perfect. Two portions, I'd say, for you and me. Oh, perfect. Right? Thinking of us. <laughs> in that goes. Yep. OK, now I'm going to get you on to zesting and juicing of that lemon. Can do. Whilst I cut up some wonderful garlic. Now, this is really rustic. Like I mentioned before, this is the midweek special. Yeah, you get home from work, you got to go somewhere, you might have a nice... I don't know, a movie you might Ooh, want to see, just romantic. or something. Romantic, a pasta first, then a movie, why not? Yeah, why pasta not? Two. Yeah, <laughs> this is great, yeah, nice and refreshing. And also using one of my favourite olives, yeah, Sicilian olives. Yes. The green olive just down the front here, a really meaty and full of flavour. When I went to Sicily, I was lucky enough to obviously go through and pick a few, you know, olives off the tree. Yep. They don't taste as good as when you pick them straight off. You need the whole <laughs> process. Yeah, they're a little bit bitter at that point. They need to be brined. <laughs> yep, that's somebody should have told me that before I tried it. But anyway. I like them also because they're not as salty and they almost have a, it sounds weird, but a buttery flavour to them. That's true. <laughs> you know, yeah. They're quite mellow. Yeah. And what I like to do with the chilli just, right, I didn't take out the seeds. It's got yes. a little bit of heat, yeah, a bit of zing. Yep. If you don't want that zing, remove the seeds. But for this dish, I think it works really well because we're going to add in some lemon zest and yep. lemon juice, which is that refreshing component. And for that amount of pasta, that's the perfect ratio. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> now, with your garlic, just be mindful, yeah, we don't want to obviously burn it at all to get that yep. nuttiness anymore. We're just getting that from other elements in this dish. Mm -hmm. So. If you have to, on and off the heat, yeah? Can I have the lemon zest? Lemon zest for you, sir. Okay. Now, don't forget our magic pasta water too. In it goes. And did you want me to chop up these and olives? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Now, this is obviously olive oil based dish, so we need some more olive oil. Yep. So what happens when that pasta water mixes together with this olive oil, we start to form the base of our mm. sauce. I'm going to drop that temperature down a little bit. Don't forget our spaghetti. Just being nice and gentle in the pot, just, just to yep. make sure it cooks nice and evenly. We kind of seem to forget about our pasta when we just drop it in the pot. We think, yep, it'll be all good. Yeah. And we need to give it a little stir. Nice. I can smell that wonderful lemon zest in that pan. It's awesome. A note on the olives too. Buy your Sicilian olives, or even if you're using Kalamata olives, any variety of olive, olive but buy them with the, the seed in it and then pick them yourself because they always taste better. Yeah. You think that too, right? Yeah, I like that. You know what? <laughs> really good. So, in with the olives, like it's, so. It's not as convenient, but I think the taste, especially when the olive is quite dominant in a dish, to get yeah. the good quality one, one that hasn't been through so many processes. <laughs> I don't know about There's you. There's me preaching. <laughs> I'm always the one when I go out for dinner, I always say with olives in it, I always get that one olive with the, you know, with the seed in the middle. <laughs> that Be lucky careful. one. So now we need some herbs, some mint. Okay. Basil and parsley does. So I just want you to chop up the parsley quite roughly. Yes. Lots of fresh herbs. Now, just if you wanted to step outside of the vegan world with this yes. dish, you yes. could just very easily open up a tin of tuna, yeah? Mm and drop this into there, and you're getting your protein in there as well. It doesn't mean you have to be vegan, but you can have that balance in the lifestyle, you know? And that's why I try to do once a week, I try and eat no protein. Yeah. Just gonna turn the heat off on the pan. So I guess the general rule when it comes to cooking pasta that you reinforce over and over again, and I think it's important that people at home know, is cooking it al dente doesn't mean that it's going to be raw. By the time it gets to the pan, cook, uh, get to the plate, and get to your mouth, it'll be just yeah. right, as opposed to being quite stodgy if you yeah. overcook the pasta. Okay, in with our parsley, back on the heat. So I'm just taking it on and off to be mindful that we don't burn any of that garlic. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, now we're good to go. Can I now just ask yes. you to softly just tear those herbs into there? Absolutely, I can do that for you. Mm. The smell of mint and basil as you tear it, as opposed to chop it. You want to respect it. it, just needs to be torn, yeah? Nice and softly, gets out all the flavour. And you and I can smell this right now, it's wonderful. Except for the parsley, that's Swanee's exception to the rule. Yeah, <laughs> hey, us chefs have our own rules, you know? Here we go. 
Nice, very nice. Now just a splash of that lemon juice into the pan as well. A little bit more cracked pepper. Say when. Oh, when. <laughs> and no cheese, guys. No cheese, all right? You don't always have to have cheese with it. We've got some really uh, dominant flavours there with the lemon and the olives, lots of herbs. Look at that wonderful strands of spaghetti. Sure looks good. Mm -mm -mm. One for you, one for me. Thank you. Have a taste. Gluten-free pasta. Mmm, mmm. That's a beautiful pasta recipe. It's simple and it's got loads of flavour from all the olives that you added, all the herbs. Nothing's missing from it. And who would know? It's gluten-free pasta, hey? Exactly. <laughs>